Well, we've really had a great uh, conference. I want to thank Rick Snyder, Governor Rick Snyder of uh, Michigan. Last year we were at Mackinac, and we had a wonderful opportunity to visit and come together on behalf of the Great Lakes. And we uh, vowed a year ago to come back here to Chicago on the banks of Lake Michigan here at the Great Shed Aquarium, one of the most sustainable places on planet Earth. And we've had great weather over the last couple of days. Most of all, we've had great, great uh, people who have come together because of their passion uh, for protecting the Great Lakes and making sure we leave it better than we found it. And so we've just had excellent presentations from a variety of different experts and individuals who are committed to clean water. Uh, we had a great American writer some time ago, uh, his name was Mark Twain, and he said, whiskey's for drinking and water's worth fighting for. So we believe in fighting for water all over the Great Lakes and all over America. So it's important, and all over planet Earth. And so we learned so many things. Uh, just this morning, we had an excellent presentation from a variety of folks who are committed to the Great Lakes, making sure we monitor and uh, protect our lakes, uh, making sure that we also see the benefits of being along the lake. Uh, we just saw a great walk of a lot of people who uh, are walking for charity and they picked this very location to come and see something special and uh, to do something special. So it's also important to understand how important the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan and all of our Great Lakes are to our economy. Uh, there's so many things that uh, we can benefit from because of our proximity to the Great Lakes. We have water. Some places in our country and our world, they don't have water the way we do. So we have to be good stewards of our water. We also have to understand that people want to uh, be near water when it comes to living and also working and also having the opportunity to recreate. So we got to protect our beaches and make sure they're safe and sound. There's so many things that we can do together. That's what the uh, Council of Great Lakes Governors is all about. We have as well our two premiers uh, from two provinces in uh, Canada, Ontario and Quebec. Uh, so this is really a uh, situation of both the United States and Canada working together for the common good. We covered a lot of important topics and I want to thank the eight states and the two provinces for coming together and also the various boards and commissions. It's great to see so many people active and involved in the Great Lakes because it's a matter of good protection of the environment, good things for the economy, and also a labor of love. Because I think all of us around the Great Lakes truly love the Great Lakes. They are something unique and special throughout the world. And we got things done over the last two days, and we should be proud of that. We had important discussions on trade, on growing our economies, about more foreign investment, and I want to thank the Paulson Institute for their involvement in that process. Um, we had a great discussion on tourism and how we can bring more people to visit this wonderful area that helps us all. So many good things in those concepts on the economic growth of the region. Also though on the environmental side, we all know the Great Lakes are something we do need to protect and to sustain. And we made progress there. Aquatic invasive species, I'm very proud of the mutual aid agreement we have started to sign today and that hopefully that will get completed and people are already planning exercises on moving ahead on doing mutual aid on aquatic invasives. I believe we had a great discussion about being more proactive and more aggressive about seeing how we can harmonize and work together on having a common set of rules on dealing with invasive species and that's a great accomplishment. Let's keep that work moving forward as we go to further sessions. And water quality and water monitoring are both important things we discussed. So this was not just a meeting of talk, this was a meeting of action and it's because of the great people that caused it to happen that participated and I want to thank everyone. And if anything, I just hope let's have a summit again next year. Um, Quebec has volunteered to do that. I look forward to continuing this dialogue with more action, more results to protect something we truly love, the Great Lakes. We in Wisconsin, we're committed uh, to our, our shared uh, uh, shores here. Uh, thinking about, I want to particularly thank Governor Quinn because I felt right at home with all the walkers. It felt like a family reunion uh, coming right through all there. Uh, but we, we do a lot of that uh, both on Lake Superior and Lake Michigan. Uh, but we're so pleased to see that balance because it's not an either-or proposition. We can have good, clean, environmentally sound water on each of our Great Lakes throughout the system and at the same time have a sound economy that we can approach regionally uh, because we have one of the greatest assets in the world 
and it's one that a blue economy means good, safe, clean water. At the same time, we have an ever-growing economic base, and I think today's meetings as well as yesterday's discussions uh, reinforce that. So we're pleased to be here today, and we look forward to more discussions as we go off. First, I would like to thank governors for including me as a last-minute attendee. As you know, Quebecers elected a new government on April, April the 7th, and I was sworn in three days ago as a Minister of International Relations and Francophonie. Our government is committed to a united Canada and a strong relationship with the United States. Under the leadership of a, of a new Philip, Premier Philippe Couillard, the Quebec government is committed to deepening its relationship with the Great Lakes region. My presence today on such short notice sends that signal which is crystal clear. Together, we hold almost 20% of the percentage of the world's freshwater reserves and have the fourth largest GDP in the world. This week's meeting gave me a chance to know our partners better and to witness substantial achievements such as the mon mutual, mutual aid agreement to fight against a AIS. I have a better understanding of how we can work together as a region and a center of a something, I know that I can't say this word, sustainable. sustainable, sustainable, sustainable. We look forward to writing the next chapters of that story with you. Finally, let me remind you that during the last election campaign, Premier Philippe Couillard unveiled an ambitious maritime strategy calling for $7 billion in public and private investment over the next 15 years. We truly want to leverage the St. Lawrence and our relationship with the Great Lakes as an engine of prosperity and innovation.